here I will read just as I see it. Here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. Thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. Notice verse 4 has the word Lord, the Lord, our God, uh, Lord. It has a verse 5, it shows Lord God. And, um, but we are to be mindful that these words, Lord, God, have been replaced by other to give glory to that of another and not to the Creator Himself. So replacement titles and names was done during the translation work. The replacement was done during the translation work of the Creator's name and the Creator's title. So to replace a title and name, name and title, what are we doing? We're covering something up. We're hiding something. And when you do that, you are misplacing identity. You are giving identity to, to that of another and not to the one to whom the identity is due. The glory is being given to, to, to someone else or something else. So to, to restore the old paths, the divine um, things, put things back into the order that they should have been, that they were in before man did the translation work and made changes to the benefit of that of another, to an idol other than the creator. So reading verse 4 with the name restored, titles and name restored, previous to the replacement, best as I understand it, it should read, He O Israel, Yahuwah our Elohim is one. Yahuwah. Let me repeat that. He O Israel, Yahuwah our Elohim is one Yahuwah. Opposed to He O Israel, the Lord our God is one Yahuwah. When to say Lord and to say God, we are giving glory and credit, praises, honor to that of another. And I won't tell you, I won't even mention who the, who the other is. Lord, quote, unquote, God, quote, unquote, Lord, quote, unquote, as we see in verse 4. I'm quoting those because we know that we're not to even make mention. Scripture tells us not to even make mention of other names, other idols, other gods. We're not to make mention of them. But we're living in a system, uh, living in a world where dualism exists. It coexists. So we got to know who we're giving praise to and who we're not giving praise to by calling sin by its right name and by properly identifying the deity. Because Satan himself is a deity and he wants to praise, he wants to glory. So to put those, to replace the creator's name and his title with that of another who rhetorically answer that question rhetorically within your own mind you don't have to say it hopefully the spirit of Elohim will let you see the essence of it all